I still remember the day that you came You were so little For me it's just a day Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I'm an author and an editor. I have five books out currently and my sixth book comes out in December. Happy NaNoWriMo! Today is day 11 and we're gonna try and write 10,000 words today. We will be writing today the third book in my Mary Nets series. This book came out in August. This is book two. This is the book that's coming out December 7th and we're writing book three. They're a new adult urban fantasy kind of fantasy romance series. They're in Kindle Unlimited. There's audiobooks. Links are down below if you want to check them out. I've also done two 10k day vlogs in the past that I'll have linked down below if you're interested, if you like this kind of thing. And then also if you're into the NaNoWriMo vlogs, I've been doing daily vlogs over on my vlog channel. But today we're going to be doing a 10k day vlog. I'm a little bit behind. So let me pull up my um, document and I'll let you know where our starting point is. So our starting count for today's vlog, we are at 14,756 words. So I think the goal just to be on track for NaNoWriMo by the end of today would be 18,337 so that's like our easy goal at the very least I want to get caught up today otherwise we're gonna try and hit 10k I think that'll bring me to the end of act one I'm really looking forward to writing act two so that would be fabulous and the two other times spoiler for those 10k vlogs I've hit 10k every time so failure is not an option around here we're gonna get it done it is 8 in the morning I just made my coffee we're ready to go I think I'm gonna do some live writing sprints over on my second channel at some point today and write with some other people I've got a couple of other people who are also doing a 10k day with me today so I'll be checking in with them to see how they're doing and yeah we're gonna get it done so last night I did sit down and plan out what I'm gonna write today. So I do have several scenes planned, but to be honest, there's a good chance I'm gonna write everything that I've planned and we're still not gonna hit 10K. So the end of today might be a little bit of a struggle, but we will deal with that when we get there. So yeah, we're gonna jump straight in. I'm in the middle of a scene. So I just wanna finish that off first thing this morning. I don't know what this is doing. But before we get started, I'm gonna pick out my scent for today which yes this is a slightly cheesy segue into today's sponsor but also if you have read one of my favorite nonfiction books big magic comment down below <laughs> let me know if you know why i do this so today's video is being sponsored by dossier which is a fragrance company i literally have 10 of their perfumes i'm such a huge fan but today's scent that we're gonna go with is floriental cedarwood if you are a reader of young adult i feel like so many characters and books are described as smelling like cedarwood part of the reason why i chose this as one of mine was because i wanted to know what it smelled like i didn't know what cedarwood smelled like Dossier has quickly become my favorite perfume company. They basically make dupes for designer scents for a much more affordable price. All of their perfumes are like $30 or $40 compared to the scents that they're inspired by, which could be anywhere from like $100 to $300. So if you go on their site, they'll tell you which perfume their scents are inspired by. It's totally risk-free because they let you return the perfume if you get it and it doesn't end up smelling like you thought it would. And they're basically my dream company when it comes to sustainability. All of their packaging is recycled materials or vegan cruelty free and like I said I have 10 of their perfumes and I have yet to be disappointed I love all 10 of the scents that I have I'll have their website linked down below in my description if you want to check them out I also have I think my link or my code will get you some money off as well cannot recommend them enough and we're hoping that's going to help us with our writing today this is a concept in big magic I know it's a little woo woo and people kind of roll their eyes at it but I really liked the concept in here about how you have to kind of seduce creativity and you get yourself ready and you put on some perfume before you sit down to write and you become a more fun person for your creativity to work with basically so we'll see if it helps us out today also i'm seeing i just got an email wicked souls book two of this series that we're working on was currently off with my proofreader i sent it to her on monday today is thursday and she just sent it back to me she's done so i feel like that's gonna slow us down today because i'm gonna want to go through that Tired, I can stand right here 
and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away, I won't waste this so I've been listening to the Spotify playlist for this book all morning to kind of like get me in the right headspace, get me in the mood to write. If you're curious, if you wanna to listen to it, I'll have it linked down below. I think I'm gonna schedule our sprints so then people have some time to see it and plan ahead. I'm trying to decide what time I wanna do them. I usually do sprints in the afternoon, but I think I might do them in the morning today. Just because I know there's a lot of people who are doing sprints tonight who all just tune in for. So if I'm gonna host, I don't wanna host it at the same time. A ton of other people are doing them, so I'll just do it this morning. We've written like 300 words so far this morning. So uh, we're just getting started. I, like I thought I would, um, was skimming through Wicked Souls' document from my proofreader. She did a fabulous job as always. I'm not gonna like actually sit down and take the time to like go through all the comments and like implement the changes. I just wanted to look through it. Um, we will work on that probably tomorrow. I don't know what is going on with my hair today. It's like a mess of dry shampoo and it's just like sticking up everywhere. But what we did last time for the 10K day, I had this little chart in my journal so I could like track my writing sprints and stuff throughout the day. So I'm gonna quickly throw something together so I can do that again. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now, should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now, what's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid Okay, I am officially going live at 10 o'clock this morning. I'm in mountain time, so that's noon for people on the East Coast. So I figured if people are trying to write on their lunch break or something, that might be a good time. So that's in about an hour. It's a little after 10 o'clock. We made this little thing to keep track of the sprints. So I'm gonna write a little bit before I go live, probably get some breakfast and buckle in to really get started on this day now. I usually stay on lives for about two hours. And so I think I could knock out at least like 3,000 words doing that, um, depending on how much we like chat between the sprints. So I think that'll get us a good start this morning. I don't know if you guys are on Bones Day TikTok, but I was hoping for a Bones Day today for the 10K day. It's a no Bones Day. Um, it's okay, that just means we're gonna stay in the sweatpants. Maybe we'll write from bed for a while. Okay, so our first little writing session for the day, we got 690. It wasn't really a sprint. I've just been kind of like wrapping up the scene I was in. We're going live in half an hour, so I'm gonna grab some breakfast now. Then hopefully we can knock some more out. This has been a bit of a slow start, I must admit. I'm getting ready to go live. I had a banana. We're ready to go. I wrote a little bit more, so now I'm a little over a thousand words for the day. So first 1,000 down, 9,000 more to go. So it is now 11.30. I am still on the live. I don't know if the chat's gonna notice that I'm vlogging, but here you are. It's been going well. These are the sprints so far. I now have almost 18,000 words, which is close to our um, minimum goal for the day to get caught up. So we're in the middle of the sprint right now. I was just taking a little bit of a break, got up, moved around and everything. So I'm gonna get back to writing, but I wanted to give you a quick update. We've been on here for about an hour and 40 minutes. So I'll probably still be here for a little while. But yeah, it's going well so far. We've gotten over 3000 words for the day. Okay, we just ended the sprint, or I mean, we ended the whole stream. <laughs> we were on there for two hours and 22 minutes. It's now almost 12:30. Here are our sprint counts so far for the day. So this is our graph. We have a little over 4,000. So we're almost halfway there and it's only noon. So I'm definitely happy with that. I'm now over 19,000 in the project. So yeah, now I'm gonna take a break, get some lunch, move around and everything. Honestly, I feel pretty good. I thought after doing those sprints for two hours, I was gonna be like tired and burnt out. That flew by. That really helped me get some words down. And honestly, I feel perfectly fine. I feel like we can keep going today. So love that. I was also kind of worried I was gonna get through the things that I have planned for today really quickly, but we're still in like the first bullet point of what I had planned. It's ended up being longer than I thought. It's like 4,000 words with this basically what I thought was going to be one scene and now it's obviously more than one scene. So I think we might not run out of things to write today. So this is good news. The last 10k day I did before this was a lot more of a struggle. So I was kind of expecting this one to be a struggle. The first one I did was easy. The second one was a struggle. So I was kind of expecting today to be hard, but so I don't want to jinx myself. So far so good. We'll take a break. We'll come back at it this afternoon. Thanks so much everybody who joined me for the live.
This is 27 It doesn't matter what I've been through I should go out too But I still act like I'm 11 I'm not emotionally sound since I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy I won't be surprised if I'm the last one now But I had you where I wanted you, never had to ask I'd set the world on fire just to get it back I don't know how it feels to Okay, it's now 4.45, to be honest. Uh, I took a pretty long break in there and I've been moving kind of slow this afternoon, but I know there are gonna be sprints at six o'clock my time tonight that I'm gonna tune into. So I'm hoping we can knock out the last of this during those sprints. But um, I'm now almost at 21,000 overall in the manuscript and I'm past 6,000 words for today, which I think is pretty on par with where I was at the last time I did these 10K days. And we have a little, less than 4,000 words left to write. I think we'll still hit it. I think we're okay. We're still moving along at a good pace with what I had planned for today. And I don't think we're gonna run out of things to write. I think we're all good. I think I might take another little break before those sprints tonight. Okay, the writing sprints start at six. So it's almost time. And we've now passed 7,000 words. So we just gotta knock out another 3,000. Surprisingly, I'm still feeling okay. Like it could be worse. I. I'm not like on a roll where I'm knocking it out and it's easy, but I'm also not like, dragging and I'm tired and I don't want to keep writing you know it's just been slow going but um consistently slow like we're still getting stuff on the page consistently so it's been fine the first time I did this was easy and I knocked it out really fast the second time I was tired and dragging and it was slow and now this time it's just been slow and steady different every time so yeah I'm gonna tune in for these writing sprints and we'll see how long it takes me to knock out this last three thousand words it's a little after seven I have a Maxine down here. We're still writing, we're still going. I have written 8,711 words today. We have 1,300 words left. If it weren't for how stubborn I am, I probably would have stopped around like seven or 8,000. I was feeling pretty good at that point, but we're gonna hit the 10K. There's no other options. And I still haven't even hit the end of what I planned for tonight. So we've got stuff to do. It's only seven o'clock. It's just harder this time of year when it gets dark at like five so it feels so much later than it actually is if this was happening during the summer which is when i did the last one of these when it was still bright outside till like eight i think i would be fine but now i'm feeling like oh it's late i want to be done but we're not done we're not done she's putting up with a lot down there what do you think what do you think oh big stretch yeah yeah I don't know where your brother went. I don't know. I do not know. Well, you will find out. Well, speaking of, did you get jealous? I'm also mad at myself that I didn't plan ahead and go get a bottle of wine before now because I'm definitely too lazy to go get it now. I guess I'm gonna go get a seltzer water. Realistically, I could knock that out in like two sprints if I could just like get myself to focus. and it's about eight o'clock i think we started at like eight or nine o'clock this morning so it's been about 12 hours that's been pretty on par that's how long it took us the past two times but truthfully i could not care less that i hit the 10,000 words like it's great yeah but what i'm really excited about is i have been waiting for three books in this series for this character to show up and i finally got to write the first scene with them in it um, i'm not done with the scene but i got to start it and I'm sitting here grinning to myself, like enjoying this so much. But also, I love when this happens, when characters surprise me. Like I've had this character in my head for so long and I've been like planning <laughs> everything, but sometimes I just like can't account for how it turns out and this character just like walked on the page and completely deviated from the outline that I had for how they were going to behave and they've just like immediately taken on a life of their own, but I like this version better. Um, I'm like, 
I don't even know what word to use right now. I'm like giddy. Like this was so good. I am just so thrilled that I got to this part in the book. <laughs> I've been wanting to get here for so long. Oh, I cannot wait for you guys to meet this character. I'm so excited. So yeah, we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go take a break. We're gonna go watch a movie or something and hang out with my cats because they keep coming in here and begging for attention and I've been ignoring them all day. 10,000 words. So our final word count for today is 24,776. I'm so excited. Oh, and it was a slow and steady kind of day. It took me a while, but I also feel like honestly it's not that rough. I feel like when you do like 10k days you run the risk of having like really sloppy writing and like how much can you actually keep, but I feel like I was pretty intentional about what I was writing and it's still gonna need a lot of revisions and everything as usual, but I don't feel like it's any rougher than usual, you know what I mean? So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm glad that we hit the 10K, of course, but I am particularly glad that we hit this part of the book. I still have a good scene or two left of my plans for act one before we break into act two, but um, I'm at the part that I wanted. All I wanted was to get to this character <laughs> and it's better than I could have hoped for. I'm pretty thrilled with the way that this turned out. This is just like, I feel like one of the most fun parts about writing like you can plan all you want but when you have these like aha moments or when something surprises you or a character comes out of nowhere and it just kind of feels like it's happening on its own and it's happening organically and it has like a life of its own it's just so exciting i don't know if you're a writer maybe you can relate to this feeling but um i just love when this happens so i'm glad that this is the note that we're ending the day on yeah so i'll have a ton of stuff linked down below in the description if you want to start book one of this series that I'm writing, if you want to check out the other 10k day vlogs, or if you want to follow me over on my second channel for my daily nano vlogs, I'll keep updating as I keep writing this book for the rest of this month over there. But other than that, we're going to end the vlog here. So thanks for sticking with me. If you've made it to the end of the video, maybe give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, maybe subscribe and stick around. And I'll just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye. No.